Good morning. Today's devotion is for May 18th, and it's from Philippians chapter 4, and we're looking at verse 12. Paul says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. And then he says, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. The secret to contentment. How is it possible that one can be in contentment, have be content, when one is experiencing in a certain period of time two opposite things? Paul says, I know what it's like to have plenty, and I know what it's like to be in want. What is he trying to drive at when he says, I've learned the secret? And I know you're going to be surprised, and I say it even in the written devotion, uh, God's the answer. Uh, yeah, duh. But I mean, I really mean it. See, if, if you're not content today, if I'm not content today, and, and let me just speak for myself. If I start looking at aspects of my life today and say that I'm not content, I will tell you, that if I just think about it for a second, I am thinking about me. I'm thinking about what I want or what I think I need, and I'm seeing the difference between that and what obviously the world is giving me and what God's giving me, and hence then I begin a judgment. I begin to say that God's not doing this or he's not doing that, and and that creates doubt and fear and anxiety, and all of these things begin to develop. But what if I believed that God was in every moment? (laughs) Not just in when I have plenty, but he's in the moments when I'm in need and have want. And he's waiting for me to acknowledge his presence. And that at times I need to be content even when there's great need. Because I have to trust that he's not just God abstractly, but he's the God of my life and he's my heavenly father and he cares for me. Whoa, that begins to challenge the heart, huh? I think that's where Paul is. Paul has been shipwrecked, beaten, flogged, stoned, arrested. He has gone days where he's had to work hard to earn enough money to feed himself. And there's other times when, when he seems to be riding high and, 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 and living on the blessings of the waves that God has given. Somehow he found a secret to be content no matter what the situation is, as long as God's with him. David says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Even in my greatest time of need, I will trust and know that you are with me. I pray that today we attach ourselves to the secret of contentment and that we're able to find it every day that we live on this earth. I pray that this devotion is a blessing to you. Have a firmly rooted day.